Hello, it's Scott here from Digital Bubbits, and I thought I'd just do a quick video. Um, we are always taking lots and lots of meetings here at Digital Bubbits, and I thought I'd make a video just to answer the first question that gets asked a lot when it comes to 2D cartoon animation. And that question is, why should I use Adobe Character Animator? There's lots of programs out there. There's obviously Adobe Character Animator, there's Cartoon Animator 5, and there's Live 2D. And those are the kind of puppetry um, motion capture based animation softwares. Obviously, you've got all your other ones, such as Harmony and um, Moho and Adobe Animate. We're not going to get into those. Those are slightly separate. We're going to be talking about animation software that anyone can use and that's the very first answer. The reason you should be using Adobe Character Animator is it's dead simple to use. This is something that a non-animator can operate and once you've got your digital puppet we can hand it over to you and then you can go off and you can be making very nice looking content for your b-roll, for your social media or for your own YouTube cartoons, you can be making those by the end of the day. Now I've already made lots of tutorial videos showing a breakdown of the workflow. I'm sure I've probably got some example footage going on in the corner over here to demonstrate that. So I've got a bunch of them and I'll put links in the comments below if you haven't already seen those. Um, but each of them videos are about an hour long and by the time you've watched that video you can certainly see how you can make your own cartoon animation. So yes, the first answer is digital puppets are really easy to use um, and they're used for a number of reasons. You get people using them for promotions and marketing, you get people using them for entertainment, you get people using them for you know like Twitch gaming and stuff like that and the good thing about using a character for something like Twitch is that there are what, thousands and thousands of people sitting there playing their games and if you are trying to attract new fans, if someone's like flicking through the channels and whatnot and it's just another face after face, you know, they're not going to particularly stand out. But if you're a cartoon character, you're going to get someone's attention for a second. And that might be all you need that you're, you know, once you've got their attention with your character, hopefully your content and your personality will win them over after that. But just getting your foot in the door is often the hardest part, especially when you're competing against thousands of other people, whether that's Twitch or whether that's YouTube um, cartoon channel or whether it's marketing. You know, we are all so used to seeing millions of adverts. We tune them all out. But if a cartoon pops up, it's going to get your attention a bit longer than just the old boring, bland adverts. So it's a foot in the door and it's an opportunity to grab someone's attention. I should really turn this puppet on actually while I'm, you know, I'm going on about how easy it is to use. So let's just select it, get the timeline, get your rabbit, calibrate, and there we go. Let's get him talking, testing, testing, one, two, three. I might as well have him, you know, yabbering on while I'm jabbering on. Okay, so cheap to run. So, sorry, no, that's my next point. Easy to run. And yes, cheap to run. So whilst animations used to take a long time to produce um, and anything that takes a long time means you're getting charged for all them hours and it used to take multiple people to produce. Once I've made these puppets, embedded all the animations, you know, you just fire all the pre-made triggers and all the actions that I've got. And it's very much a, a layer kind of approach to animating. You get it up on the timeline and it's drag and dropping, you know, smile, waving, dead simple, walking, camera zooming in, zooming out. Again, check out them tutorial videos. I'm not going to go into that now. But because it's, um, you know, easy to animate, you can animate it yourself. So you don't have to be an animator to do this. And the cost of setting up a puppet is not expensive at all. Just get in touch with us. We have lots of options. Options that begin from £10. And that is a kind of pre-made template that we've already got where you can go in and customize it yourself. We've got a £150 um, template where it's a bit more advanced and you'd be paying me to go in and change the features 
to look like you and then you can go away and make your own animations and then we have our starter prices for a budget build and working up i've got a whole price list so drop me an email at info at digitalpuppets.co.uk and i will happily send you all that over so if you want something that looks really eye-catching really easy to use doesn't cost a lot of money i would suggest using adobe character animator um what about the other program so i have used um live 2d i am not a fan of live 2d yes it's got a really nice parallax going on but that's about it it to me in my i felt it's very limited in what you can get the character doing in adobe character animator i can make any animation i can um, embed them into the puppet and they can do anything you want also with live 2d i find that they all look the same now i know that's obviously a design approach to it but personally if i was making a character i wouldn't want a character that looked like a billion other anime characters i'd want a character that looks unique and it's memorable and it's gonna stand out um cartoon animator 5 i have not used that yet and i must admit it does look brilliant and i am going to start using animator 5 from this week i am going to start learning it and you will see videos from me very soon giving you my my review what i think of it i'm looking i'm very much looking forward to that like i say i used live 2d I wasn't impressed, um, but what I've seen of Character Animator 5, that does look impressive. And um, I'll get, check, you know, make sure to subscribe. I know it's not something I normally ever say. Hit that subscribe button below. And so when my Character Animator 5 reviews and tutorials and whatnot all start coming out, then you won't miss any of them. Anyway, so that was my quick video, just answering the question I guess asked all the time. Why should I have a digital puppet? Why should I have a cartoon puppet? And why should I use Adobe Character Animator? And if I didn't answer that a minute ago with a why should I use a cartoon puppet? Dead simple. I love cartoon. Bright, colourful. I prefer 2D over 3D. My partner Anthony, who works in digital puppets, won't agree with that. That's just my opinion. But I do like very colourful cartoon animated puppets that grab people's attention. Anyway, that's all from me. Bye.